Hi everyone, welcome back to House to Smart. In our previous episode, we looked at how to add a gateway to your smart home. In this episode, we look at how to add child devices and create automations. If you haven't already done so, remember to subscribe for more videos like this. Welcome back to House to Smart. This is a motion sensor. This sensor allows you to turn on lights when someone walks into the room. To use this, you will need to add it to your hub. Tap on the plus symbol and search for motion sensor. There are two motion sensors on the list, if you notice. One version is the Xiaomi motion sensor, while the one I have here in my hand is the Akara motion sensor. The main difference is the Akara version has a light sensor, i.e. it detects how bright the room is. Make sure that you select the right version during pairing. For this device, the reset button can be found on the side. You may need a pen or pointed object to press it. Similar to before, press and hold for 5 seconds. At this time, you will see blue lights blinking. Follow the on-screen instructions and you are ready to go. Now that you have the sensor added, go on and add other devices such as a light bulb or switch. Once you have those added, we can start creating automations. Now let's see how to do that. The Mi Home app uses if-then statements to understand your inputs and the required outputs to be executed. This is how it works. The if statement defines the conditions or rules for the command to be triggered. The then statement tells the smart home what commands to do or execute when the if statement is triggered. Now imagine you have a little brother and you tell him if you are well behaved then you will get an ice cream. Similarly, for your smart home, you can say if motion is detected in the kitchen, then turn on kitchen light. It's that simple. And let's see how we do it in the app. Go to the automation tab and then tap on the plus symbol. You can filter by room or device type if you have multiple devices like me and then select the device that will trigger the automation. Here, I select the service yard motion sensor. Select motion detected Next, select the device that will react to this event. Here, I select kitchen light and this motion will turn off the left button. Tap save and select a name if you like. And done, that's it. The light will now come on when you enter the kitchen. Now, the smart ones will now have a question in their head. When does the light turn off? Never, because we haven't told it when to. Using a similar process, let's now tell the light when to turn off. Select the same motion sensor and choose from no motion detected after 2, 5, 10, 20 or more than 30 minutes, depending on your preference. Find that 2 minutes is too quick in most real life scenarios, so 5 minutes is the recommended one to start with. You can come back and change this anytime. Next, select the same switch and tap on turn off left button. Tap save and it's done. Congratulations on your first complete automation sequence. You can also select specific days for the automation to run such as only on Mondays and Tuesdays. If you want your automation to behave differently on weekdays and weekends, you will need to create two sets of automations, one for weekdays and one for weekends. And that's all folks, I hope that has helped you start on your home automation journey. What's an automation that you have set up for your home? Share with us because we're keen to know. If you like this video, remember to subscribe or follow us to get more in the future. Happy automation!